Client red flags. Let's talk about them. A red flag is common code for things you should be looking out for that maybe indicate that a client is not such a good client after all. So I'm rounding up some of the new red flags to look out for in 2023. Red flag number one, your client expects you to be online and responding to them at all hours. Good clients will know that you have boundaries and work hours and a life outside of your own work. But if a client keeps sending you urgent emails at 11 p.m., expecting you to book their flight for 7 a.m. the next day, that to me is a huge red flag. And it says to me that they do not respect your boundaries, your office hours, or your life. Red flag number two, the statement, we're a family. While I deeply respect my clients and value our work relationship, we are not a family. We are partners. We are co-workers. Anybody who says we're a family says to me that this client thinks that they can steamroll over your boundaries and demand things of you that you may not even offer in your business, all because that's what family would do. Red flag number three, wearing many hats. This used to be a phrase that I used in my business a lot. I used to say, oh, I'm a virtual assistant who wears many hats. And I used to say that with pride because to me it meant that there was a variety of different things that I could do, that I was a great multitasker. Well, I have since shied away from that phrase. And I now think that that phrasing when coming from a client is a huge red flag because it says to me that this client has no interest in refining your scope of work or the services that you may or may not offer and respecting that scope of work. Maybe you're a virtual assistant Pinterest manager and your main scope of work is growing and maintaining a client's Pinterest, but all of a sudden they're asking you to build websites and run their entire YouTube channel. That isn't something you were necessarily hired to do. And if they keep telling you that, well, you were hired to wear many hats, this is a huge red flag and shows to me that they don't respect your craft, your skills, or what you bring to the table. Huge red flag number four. Are we on number four? You know what? The numbers don't even matter. Another huge red flag is micromanaging. If I get the sense that a client is a micromanager or somebody who needs to be involved in every single step of my work, I run as far and fast as I possibly can. A micromanaging client makes me feel like an employee, not a virtual assistant. And we are not employees. We are partners. We are strategic partners. We are contractors for this particular client. But employees, we are not. And they cannot treat us like employees either. That means that I get a say in what tools I use for my business, how I like to get tasks done, when I like to get tasks done. But if a client is micromanaging every aspect of my day, I'm already out. So sometimes when you're talking to a client on the phone about how you guys might work together, clients may give you hints of red flags. They might be waving things in the background. So just look out for a couple of the items that I mentioned to make sure that you're not agreeing to a client who might end up being a total nightmare and stressing you out more than anything. And if you guys think I've missed any red flags, which believe me, I've missed a ton, leave them in the comments below. I would love to know what red flags you look for in your clients so that we can all avoid the bad clients together.